Well, we know what that music signifies, Brian. Signifies red carpet treatment about to be underway for the king himself of professional wrestling, King Shane Williams. Look at that, doesn't want these, as he calls them, common fans to touch him. We have had a lot of wrestlers claim, uh, you know, great experience. Look at, red, look at that red carpet, look at that. They even, they even lay out the red carpet for the king. Well, I, I, well there it is, indeed. There's the, there's the king's carpet. I mean, literally laid out the red carpet for the king. Well, you gotta realize, Chris Cruz, if you don't believe your own hype, nobody else will. That's well said, and he certainly believes it. A lot of hype, and we get to see the King Shane Williams right here in traditional championship wrestling. He told me recently he has one goal in mind here in 2012 as he is on with us on the Hot Live and Otherwise Tour, and that is at some point to become the TCW International Heavyweight Champion, the most prestigious wrestling championship in the world today. He's not even in. Okay. His opponent from Russ Vegas, Arkansas. Weighing 220 pounds, VH1 celebrity alley star, Matt Riviera. Tom Simon introduces VH1 celebrity alley star, Matt Riviera, and I wait till you hear, yeah, these fans are gonna go crazy when he walks out of that curtain, Christopher Cruz. It's our main event this week on traditional championship wrestling. A big, big challenge for the King and look for at that. Matt Riviera. These fans are, look at all the fans. There's no way, all these fans sticking their hands out. Wait, Matt loves these people and he's gonna show some love to them right now. They wanna touch him and he wants to touch them and here we go. He's walking down the aisle. Wait a minute, he's saying, what? wait a minute. What? I, I think he's not, he wants to give them a little bit more love. There we go, oh my gosh. The sound system here, it's gonna blow it out with all the yelling and screaming from all these fans. The maybe, without question, the most popular athlete I've seen in a long, long time. VH1 celeb reality star, Matt Riviera. You can see his response to that red car, but he didn't like it. Wow. <laughs> He's loving that. He's saying, give it to me twice. All the fans. Look at this front row seat right there. That's a VIP section right there. Front row and center for traditional championship wrestling. The best seat in the house. The best ticket in town, hot live and otherwise. And this is the kind of match that we bring you live at events throughout the area as well as right here on TCW Wrestling on television. The King Shane Williams against, as you indicated, one of the great stars here of traditional championship wrestling. <laughs> they're, they're getting a feel for the action there. All the ladies Matt love Riviera. it. All the ladies love VH1 celeb reality star Matt Riviera. And King Shane Williams is just, he's look at it, he's walking around pacing, he's taking it all in. But I promise you this, make no mistake about it, King Shane Williams is prepared to go. This one, this is going to be a great match. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this as a as not only the owner of TCW, but as a wrestling fan. These are the kind of matches I just sit back and say, I love this sport. And Matt Riviera is not intimidated at all by the reputation or by the appearance of King Shane Williams. That is his coveted signal right there. You saw moments ago, and these fans, they have their hands up in the air, representing Russ Vegas. Yeah, right there he is, VH1 Celeb Reality Star Matt Riviera. The task is very tough this week on TCW. Chris Cruz in there, right there, that man who is in great shape. Look at that body of King Shane Williams. And he is looking for some love from the fans and doesn't get it. Fans, you can learn a lot more about Matt Riviera on traditionalwrestling.com, as well as you can learn uh, where we're coming, where the tour is coming, the hot live and otherwise tour 2012 is coming. You can learn as well about King Shane Williams. Going all over the place. I promise you that some of the big cities here in the Arkansas markets and we're expanding. This thing just keeps growing and growing and growing. It is, as we have said before, and it's been uh, borne out by uh, independent Ooh. wrestling journalists. This listen, is... Listen to that, Cruz. These fans love Matt Riviera. This is the fastest growing wrestling promotion in the world today. It's happens? where places like Mickey James, it's places like... And he's what, trying what, to what pass that off to a fan. Look at that. Look at the total disrespect from King Shane Williams. Did he bring it back into the ring? Oh, oh he threw it Ooh. at Matt Riviera. Riviera is not going to like that. One of the fans 
Foster accidentally dropped it, and instead of Shane Williams being respectful and handing it back to the fan, he took it away and threw it at Riviera. Yeah, he'll make sure the fans get what they wanted. Now he's checking again. Let's see which side of the building is going to be the loudest. My guess is he's going to throw it far enough so that the King Shane Williams doesn't get a hold of it this time. Yeah, no more accidents here. Here we go. Brian, a lot of professional wrestlers over the years have been named King. And so it takes a whole lot of nerve, a whole lot of gall to call yourself King. That's certainly a lot of confidence there with King Shane Williams. He says he is the greatest of the great, the king of all the wrestling royalty that's ever graced your, your presence in professional wrestling. And I say this, he's backed it up every time I've seen him in this ring. He claims that he is the master of the greatest pile driver you have ever seen. Let's see if he can get it on the big man, Matt Riviera, as these two superstars are about to lock up here on traditional championship wrestling. The fans kind of had the attention of Shane Williams right there as he was kind of looking out at them as he circles around. These two men going to lock up collar and elbow. And very quickly, Shane Williams, even though he is outmatched in size by Matt Riviera, well, Matt Riviera now has very quickly turned it around. These two guys are going to try to figure out who is strong, or who has got the most leverage, who has got the most guts, the most intestinal fortitude. And this is a very long lockup here. And will they break and break clean? Matt Riviera very smartly backs right off. So these two guys are pretty evenly matched here in this uh, contest, Chris Cruz. It's going to be interesting to see how it progresses, who gets the advantage and who's able to keep it this week as King Shane Williams goes one-on-one -on -one with VH1 celebrity star Matt Riviera. Shane Williams seems, uh, if, if not obsessed with the fans, certainly very concerned or very interested in how they react to him. Well, you got to think back, too. Also, not, speaking of obsessions, he seems obsessed with taking Matt Riviera down a notch. We've heard in recent interviews some of the things, the derogatory comments oh. that Shane Williams has made, not only about Matt Riviera, but Matt Riviera fans. I mean, that's that's really pushing the envelope just a little bit, talking about his fans and, you know, that they, they're missing teeth and all things like that. And if, if anybody loves his fans, and in fact loves every single one of them, it's Matt Riviera. It may take him 100 years, but he's going to show them, every single one of them, the love that he has for them. And Matt Riviera now, again, ties up with the King Shane Williams. To that accord, I have sat next to Matt Riviera at different events and watched him literally sign dozens and dozens and dozens of autographs. And I've been with him at, at some personal appearances where he's actually, after the appearance is over, he's went back and brought out a big bag of mail and has responded to each and every fan. That's the kind of guy this man is. And look at that. He is showing that he has got some power. He is backing Shane Williams up. The King is not liking what he's seeing. In fact, uh, Matt Rivera knows that uh, wrestling is full of bullies. Uh, so often they're like the King Shane Williams, and the only way you deal with bullies is make them back right down. And that's exactly what he just did there. And he slows down the King Shane Williams, who I guess is going to grease up his palms a little bit there, huh? Not quite sure what he's going to do with that, but Sorry. again, they tie up. And so far, no kicks, no gouges, no rakes of the eyes. So far, this is what we're seeing. Good wrestling match here between these two. The block there by Shane Williams takes down Matt Riviera as Williams looks to kind of. Nobody has really established an advantage thus far here in the early going in this contest. That, um, of course, will change at some particular point in time. We'll just have to stick with it. We're kind of at that feeling out process. I believe, I'm, I know, this is the first time these two have ever met one on one anywhere in the world, and they're doing it right here where it matters traditional championship wrestling. Oh, and gets the big man up, does the King Shane Williams. And I got to tell you, Brian, sometimes I wonder if, uh, you know, oh, pass with that pile driver quickly. He sure did, and Matt Riviera knew to get out of it and drove uh, the King Shane Williams right into the near turnbuckles. Sometimes you got to wonder. I mean, it's been a very rough couple of months for Matt Riviera after his betrayal at the hands of his lifelong friend, Jeff Jett, and you wonder if Riviera's head is where it should be and where it needs to be after that feud with Jeff Jett, which has not ended. 